Hand warmers of various types have been around for a long time, and it's getting around that time of year when your fingers or extremities seem to get cold fast, especially if you're outdoors a lot. Uh, you know, it's really important to have something to keep those fingers warm, not only to prevent frostbite, but also to be able to manipulate and have good dexterity. Zippo, of course, I've seen these for years. Marshall at Going Gear just recommended, said you need to try one of these, it's great. And so I wanted to just give it a whirl. I've used a lot of the disposable hand warmers. They're great, but once they're done, they're done. And then you go buy some more and it can get kind of expensive. This is a refillable hand warmer uh, using lighter fluid. They recommend using Zippo lighter fluid or this Ronsonol. And I just happen to have some of the Ronsonol, so we're going to use it. But we're going to just kind of show you how this thing works and uh, give you a few details about it. The Zippo hand warmer is supposed to give you up to 12 hours of heat. Uh, you can put less in for six hours. Uh, there's a measuring way to do that. Uh, it only weighs 2.7 ounces, so it's pretty lightweight. It's four inches in height and two and three quarter inches in width and about a half inch thick. So it's really thin, but it is pretty large in size. It also comes with this little sleeve that you drop it down in. It's really soft mesh material. A small refill cup and directions. The hand warmer itself is made of brass and it's actually plated with chrome. Uh, and so, you know, it's going to wear some. It does come in this silver chrome color. It comes in black and also in a real tree camouflage color. So, you know, you have a couple of different choices. The top will give you airflow. There are holes in the front and back and even on the top. Uh, this little section right here is your catalytic burner and you go ahead and pull that off. This does not create an open flame. Uh, it glows embers in here. It's a fiberglass and there is a small particles of platinum that actually cause a, a glowing ember so it doesn't cause an, a, a complete flame. You put in your fuel right here and you can see the material, the filler material here. If you fill it to the top, it's supposed to be 12 hours, halfway is 6 hours. I've heard different testimonies of different times, but usually more than the hours listed. Take your fuel. Be careful not to spill it around. Uh, it, with lighter fluid, it is easy to do. It evaporates quickly, but you want to make sure that you, uh, you're you very careful. Now, I'm going to go ahead. In fact, it's recommended to go ahead and fill it up to the 12-hour mark. And you shouldn't put any more than what's listed here. Take your fuel and again carefully start to pour it into these different ports. In fact, I'm going to depress that down just a touch to be able to keep it contained. Once you finish filling it up, you want to make sure you hold it up in the upright position for two minutes. Here this just brings it back to the surface. Give you a little more positive contact with the catalytic burner. Really two, waiting two minutes is going to really evaporate any of your lighter fluid, but I would wipe it off anyway. You can go ahead and put your catalytic burner back on. Just squeezes down. Now we've waited two minutes. We're ready to light our catalytic burner right here. We're just going to use a Bic lighter. You can use obviously a Zippo, a long match, or whatever device you want to use. You want to hold it in there for 10, about 10 seconds. You're not necessarily going to be able to see the glow, and it said it may take it longer. Okay, I'm starting to feel, I can feel the heat, and really it works better with low oxygen. So we're going to go ahead and return our cover, then you put it in your little sack, and this really helps to keep it uh, burning longer, it keeps the airflow pretty low. There's a little bead here. It doesn't close it up all the way. And I can, yes, I can feel the heat right now. Now a little fact about these little hand warmers, they've been around since 1923. Developed in Japan, imported into the United States back in the 1950s. 
and uh, then Zippo has pretty much uh, covered that market. In fact, a lot of times you can find these even in estate sales and things like that. I've come across them, uh, some of the older type. Uh, but this is a really good high quality piece. It's reusable. It's going to be an excellent addition. In fact, I think I'm going to buy another one so I can keep one in my other pocket. <laughs> but this is a great, especially when you're outdoors a lot, keeping your hands warm really can add a lot of comfort. Again, it can keep uh, your hands from being damaged and it just retains its dexterity. Now, according to Zippo, this cannot be stopped once it's turned on. Uh, but from what I've read, if you can pull off the catalytic burner, it will cease to burn the, uh, the fluid inside and it'll quit. So uh, that's something that uh, you want to think about if you need to turn it off. I mean, this is going to go for 12 hours. That's quite a long time. So if you want to stop that process, you can do so. Uh, but I think if you just set it uh, down somewhere, even with it warm, it's going to be fine. Uh, make sure you hold on to your cup and your directions. And I think you're going to find that the Zippo hand warmer is going to be an excellent addition uh, if you're going to be in the great outdoors. Now these are available at Going Gear uh, down in Smyrna, Georgia. If you're on the Going Gear website and you want to add something to your order, there's a ton of different flashlights and knives. You know I've done a lot with Going Gear. Marshall's a good friend of mine. Uh, it is a great place for them. They, they run about $19.95 uh, for the complete set. And of course, you'll need to add your lighter fluid as well. And Marshall always gives a 10% discount when you use SUCH00 in the coupon code. So uh, I'll have all the links down in the description below. Wow, that's starting to get really toasty. That feels good. <laughs> it's so cold. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And also in woodland. Uh, no. Now you get. Now the Zippo hand warmer. Now one of the things you're going to want to do is not get this all over. Now when you're placing your fuel in, uh, if the fibers have been pushed down, you can take a small toothpick and pull it back out. Got my Zippo hand warmer and a Bic lighter. Uh, at least the Bic lighter looks pretty nice. 